My name is Nimatri. I'm came from India. So now I'm in Bogora, Nepal. And so your question is why I'm become a monk. So actually when I was kids, I love to watch uh, some Kung Fu movies. It's a Chinese movie. The most of uh, monk are learning Kung Fu. I was thought that if I'm become a monk, I will learn some Kung Fu for self-defense. It's my story, but uh, everyone have a different, different story. Uh, it's my it's my story, and I was thinking, yeah, it's good to be a monk, uh, and I haven't thought that. So, uh, if I become a monk for whole life, I was just think uh, if I become a monk, the, when I've done to learn kung fu, then I will exist. But when I came here, when I reach here, so no kung fu. I was shocked. What? So when I watch movie, the monk are learning kung fu, and I asked to my teacher. And he told me that, so we are peace people, we are not learning Kung Fu, we are not teaching Kung Fu. I was shocked. I said, oh no, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> and, yeah, and I, I was, but that time I was really feel sad because my target and my aim is to learning Kung Fu, to be a self defense. Uh, so when they told me no Kung Fu, I was, oh, my heart is broken. So I was really sad. Mm, let, I was thinking it's it's good, but I'm become a monk. I will just uh, I was thinking that it's better to keep study from here because in my village they are no good in school. Lots of people think that uh, talking about that uh, they have a problem in home. That's why he become a monk, something like this. But I'm not actually. Okay, my father, it's an army. It's very old, and yeah, he, now he is very good position right now. So, yeah, my, uh, my home uh, story is like this now, come to monk life, right? So everyone thinking and telling that, uh, first of all, so, uh, whenever some tourists came here, coming here, whatever, <clears throat> they, uh, they always ask, so, do you have a girlfriend? I said, oh, no, bro, <laughs> just keep away from that. <laughs> and they ask, I said, no, actually, we don't allow to make girlfriend not allowed to make marriage because in Buddhism it's not allowed but other monks like uh, other culture I, I mean other sects uh, we have a uh, five or I think we have five sects like Buddha uh, like Giluk, Nyingma, Kaikyu and uh, another one there are some of their sects they do marriage but we it's not possible it's not it's so not allowed you have five what? Five, uh, uh, it's called five sects Okay, ah, so like different type D of monk. Different type of monk, okay. yeah, like this. Uh, but you choose how monk you wanna be, no? No, actually, I, I uh, that time I was confused because uh, my ta my aim and my target is be a uh, kung fu. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you find yourself being a monk who can't get married? Uh, uh, like, why didn't you say, okay, I wanna change or I don't want that? No, that time I was small and I can't return my, by myself. Oh, okay. The, and my, my home is very far from here. That's why I was... Oh, so you've been living here since you were young? Yeah, I, that time I think I was ten, ten and a half years. Oh, you've been he living here since uh, so yeah. how many years now? No, I'm 20, 26. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's been very really long. Here in this monastery? Yeah. I have a question. It says yeah. like Nepal and India are... Uh, <laughs> Majority Hindu, right? Yes. So, like, what's the position of Buddhism monks in society in Nepal or in India? Like, how do you feel about it? In in this area, we got a very good respect from other people. Okay. And because they also know we are Buddhism and we are alone in here. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any parents in here. Okay. If you got a trouble, we we do it only by ourselves. Okay. And I was um, sometimes our our senior. They will help us if we got very deep, uh, very uh, big problem and very big trouble. They help us, but in s small situations, we do by ourselves. Okay, nice. So yeah. you, yeah. So you, like, you don't really feel it, no. like that you're like a minority here. No. Okay. Because everyone respect us because we wear this one, the red dress, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of this. Mm -hmm. Now, in here we are special. Why? Because of this, and one of uh, what first of all. For his holiness. Okay. So, oh, for you, is it uh, like uh, easy to reach peace and to be happy? You know, like to really live without desire, without nothing. So, like, do you really believe in that? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Uh, first of all, 
or it depends on you. Okay, it's, it depends on you. If someone makes you angry, whatever, if you are, so on that time, you have a two way. You have to choose one. First one, angry, second, space. Right. Now sometimes we can't do the second one. Second one is space. Sometimes we did and we try to control it and we did. Sometimes it's too much difficult to do. It depends on the situation. Mm. Right. So if you if you, um, if someone irritates you too much, mm. it's over uh, the limit. And of course we did we wanna work each other. <laughs> yeah, but we're not using hand, just using mouth. Just yeah. like uh don't irritate me like this, uh, it's gonna hurt me, something like this. Yeah. So in peace is difficult. Uh, if you are in peace, of course you will want to happiness, defend, definitely. Can you be happy and in peace? For example, when you know like that there are other people suffering in the world, yeah. and like that there are a lot of poverty in the world also, like how do you manage to say both? Because like at one point it seems a little bit you know, yeah, contradictory. I, I got your point. So, uh, First of all, in the mornings, when we are doing ceremony, I mean, chanting, sorry, chanting in the monastery, mm. yeah, we also pray for the people who will die of pandemic, mm. who will die, who are sick. We are always praying for them. And in my, in my thought, okay, I was thinking that I got lucky to get a chance to pray for them who will die, who will die for country, who will die for pandemic. Mm. I was thinking and I was, I was yeah, I'm, I'm so lucky to have a chance to pray for them. You know there is like a picture, I know you're not on social media, but there is a picture in Facebook and Instagram that like Rolex, you know Rolex, the brand of the watches, like yeah. very expensive. They put like a picture of Dalai Lama wearing a Rolex and they were like advertising Rolex with Dalai Lama. Did you know about that? I didn't get that. Like, I will show you the picture. Yeah, the watch the, uh, for uh, help His Holiness mm -hmm. on hand. Like this, you know? Maybe it's quite a gift. About yeah, dentists. so what do you think but actually, about that? Like it's, I also got a gift. Yeah, it's, <laughs> o it's also a gift. <laughs> I don't like ah, okay, so you don't, uh, you don't buy nothing by yourself? No, we did, but... Like uh, for you we avoid to... to you, because I, I felt like that monks also like have to, you know, like be detached to like material stuff and things, you know. Right. So like this picture was like real polemic now in social media, like how the Dalai Lama wearing the Rolex, you know. Yeah, that, that's why I'm not in social media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first of all, uh, so this is a modern day, right? Mm. We can't do like in 1990. Yeah. Right. So we can't eat a milk like a 90, 90 people. Mm -hmm. So modern days we should have some try some new ones. So his only always told us, always telling in this uh, in when he gives speech to other people, should be like a modern. Don't be like a 90, 90 people. If we do like a 90 people, we can't go up, we sure. can't walk up. Sure. Right? Nice. Should be 90, 90, uh, Don't should be 90, 90 people. Yes, uh, be a modern monk. Uh, yes, it's focus on history and everything like this. Yeah, but we don't. We and we. I think we can't do study like a 1990 people mm. because uh, I got some. I, I heard okay from our, our big monk in the Tibet. We have a, we have an, uh, two monastery. One is here, another one is in Tibet. So in Tibet, first they don't have a light, like. They, have, uh, they make some fire and they start in on them. Okay. The fire is off till the time. Yeah. As Mark, you spend your whole life in monasteries, right? Yes. Yeah. So like, you do you see how do you see yourself like in ten or twenty or thirty years? Like, which monastery you're gonna be in? here? Only here. Only I here. don't want to get in the monastery okay. because. I got a lot of experience at the monastery also, and yeah, I, I don't want to change monastery. Okay, you're happy here. I'm, I'm, I'm happy here.